So, today we are going to introduce you to a new product. What is this product? Is it a horoscope? Is it an iTunes? Or is it a cell phone? Is it a horoscope? It is a phone and it is a music listening device. It is a horoscope. It is a phone and it's a music listening device. And we're calling it iHoroscope because we're going to do Steve Jobs horoscope today. Now, Steve Jobs was born on February 24th, 1955 in San Francisco at quote unquote 7.15 p.m. Now, this timing was given to me by a subscriber of mine on YouTube who really wants me to do his horoscope and somehow, some way, he knows his time. And I've been trying to find out his time. I can't. My sources is trying. I don't know when he'll get it, but seems like this user seems to know his horoscope time, his birth time. So we're going to do his horoscope today. All right. Now, you might be thinking, oh, God. Now, if you're new to my channel, you'll be like, oh, my God, what a horoscope, whatever. No, 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 no. I'm going to show you the easiest horoscope in the world. And what if you want to do what Steve Jobs is doing? What if you want to be a CEO of some big computer company? What if you're in technology and you want to make it big and you want to see what are the alignments in the celestial bodies that gives me this opportunity? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. So stick around. First, let's bring his horoscope up. So Steve Jobs was a Leo ascendant. Okay, you see that ascendant there? Ascend Leo ascendant. His Saturn is in the third house. And it's in the sign of Libra. That means it's excelled. His Venus and the North Node Rahu is in the fifth house of education. And remember, Saturn is in the house of communication. Then his son, the Ascendant Lord, the ruler of Leo, son, is in the seventh house, directly opposite of its sign, in the seventh house, in sign of Aquarius. Okay. Moon is in the eighth house, in the sign of Pisces. Mars is in the ninth house in the sign of Aries and Jupiter and the South Node Ketu are in the 11th house in the sign of uh, Gemini. And I'm sorry, his uh, Mercury is in the sixth house in the sign of Capricorn. Now, you guys must be wondering that how did he become a computer genius? Jeez, I'm too excited. How did he become a computer genius? You know, what is in his horoscope that shows he's a computer man? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's nothing in his horoscope that shows he's a computer man. And yes, there's going to be a lot of you out there, uh, quote unquote astrologers, Vedic astrologers, who'll say, of course he is. He's going there, he's going there, and that is aspecting that, and that is happening that. No. Let me tell you the ultimate truth. This horoscope is a horoscope of a salesman, a businessman, and a showman. Three things, and three things what Steve Jobs was. Steve Jobs didn't know diddly squat about computer coding. He didn't know C++. He didn't know PHP. He didn't know JavaScript. Nothing. He hired the people. Okay. So this horoscope is about somebody who's a good businessman, who's a salesman, able to sell any product, and who's about showmanship. And that's what Steve Jobs was. Why? Because um, Leo Ascendant is about, you know, being in front of the limelight, being in front of the crowd and be separating themselves from the, from the crowd saying, hey, this is me. This is who I am. Notice me. OK, so let's see what is happening as far as his, um, you know, life is concerned. Well, first, if you see his Saturn is in the third house, Saturn in the third house is excelled in Libra. OK, in the sign of Libra, because that seven represents the sign Libra. That means his communicative ability was really good. Okay. And look what's happening. Mars in the ninth house and Saturn are both aspecting each other because all the planets look at each other seven places from one another. So this is bringing his chart to life. This is creating a very powerful yoga. And okay. Why the communication planet Saturn sitting in the third house becoming the communication guy 
Okay, and Mars, who was about engineering, he became a communicator about engineering things, about mechanics of things. Okay, now, Steve Jobs did not complete his college. Okay, he just didn't want to study. Easiest way to tell that. So I do think this time, timing might be right of his birth. Look at Saturn in the third house. Saturn aspects the third, seventh, and tenth place from itself. And guess where Saturn is looking? Fifth house of education. That means it's giving a break in education. His education, his fun, his um, uh, what do you call his professional fundamental education is being broken. It's not about you know learning outside the realm of school. No, this is breaking his uh, learning in an institutional institutionalized uh, environment. Because Saturn aspects the third house, Saturn is about delay, Saturn is about, you know, teaching a lesson. So it broke it off. Second reason why he didn't like school, Venus and Rahu in the fifth house. Anytime Venus is in the fifth house, Venus wants to have fun. Venus is a planet of luxury, about pleasure, about having fun. Venus there doesn't like to concentrate on studies. Rahu, north node of the moon, malefic wants to just have fun it's like a thug he's a thug in the street you put a thug in a harvard university he's gonna flunk in the first minute of sitting there so venus and rahu are really making him not uneasy in a school environment he's about creativity because fifth house is about artistry creativity creating things okay so remember steve job was always about creating good products creative products he was a creative genius known as creative genius, somebody who had ideas. So that's what fifth house is doing for him. But Jupiter, look at Jupiter in, with the South Node Ketu in the 11th house, looking at the fifth house, Jupiter still enabling his mind to learn things. Jupiter still enabling his mind to learn things, yet not academically. So Jupiter is still in a good position. And guess what? With the South Node Ketu, with the South Node Ketu, remember, look at my conjunction videos of Jupiter and Ketu, a spiritual person, person who has, who wants to just give up everything and trying to learn something about the other realm. And Steve Jobs went to India to learn about meditation, to learn about Tantric Siddhi, to learn about Chakra meditation, to learn about, you know, learning the true spirituality about the world. And if you look at his moon, the twelfth lord moon of mysterious studies of spirituality of the other realm and of losses is in the eighth house of things that are underground of life and death of um, you know um, talking about things that are unknown that we cannot see that are beneath the ground he was a master of these things okay now let's discuss why his uh, relationship was bad with his parents his biological parents well first of all look at Sun. Sun represents your father in a horoscope. And Sun is the ascendant lord. Sun has gone to the opposite side in the seventh house where it's deliberated. Sun is deliberated in Libra. And seventh house is the original house of Libra. So he's losing its power there. And it's sitting in the sign of Saturn. Saturn and Sun are enemies. So what it did, it really just ruined his relationship with the father. And Moon, which represents your mother, Look what's happening to the moon. Moon's in the loss. The house of losses is in the eighth house of death, of killing a relationship. So his rule, his relationship with the mother is being damaged. You know, even though it's sitting in the sign of Jupiter, it's good, but it just it killed it. The moon is doing. Moon is in the gutter, pretty much in the eighth house. Okay. Now there's other details why his relationship is bad because of the nakshatra that the moon is sitting in. Okay, but let's move forward to other things. Okay, now his son being in the seventh house is delaying his marriage because seventh house is a house of marriage. And if you look at Jupiter and the south node Ketu from the eleventh house is looking at the eleventh house, um, looking at the seventh house because Jupiter and Ketu look at five, seven, and nine places from itself. And if you go counterclockwise and look at these placement they're both looking at the fifth house and the seventh house of marriage and this is why he got married late he got married at 35 which was good because if he would have gotten married early he would have gotten a divorce and 
if you look at Venus and Rahu are together, he's signifactor of marriage. Okay, the Venus is a signifactor of marriage too. It represents his wife, and Rahu sitting with Venus. Okay, really, we don't know, but it must have been a very tough marriage. It must have been a very, um, I, mean, I would say, professional marriage. You know, it must have been a not so you know bed of roses as we call it because ketu is looking at the seventh house too even though with jupiter saving that marriage so till he died he was still married with his spouse let me tell you something his mercury in the sixth house is retrograding and if you look at my retrograding uh, mercury uh, video he was very analytical and very much of a perfectionist he would look at all the minute details of things mercury is about those details and when it's retrograde, okay, it really creates a person who's always paranoid. He wants to get things perfect. Like Steve Jobs would practice for his uh, uh, speeches on the stage 10 months before they were supposed to happen. He would practice every day. He wanted to be perfect. Every single detail went through him. Obviously, he was a CEO. And that's why, you know, uh, he, wa he was in charge of everything. But he really wanted to make sure. In the sixth house, Mercury is excelled because the sixth house is a house of Virgo. And Mercury sitting in this earth sign, Capricorn, okay, it really helped him. But he was a very, like, very analytical mind. And he had anger problem. Look why his anger problems are happening. Rahu is looking over to the Mars aspect. But let's see what really makes him a computer genius. We want to open up the tenth house. Because in Vedic astrology, there's something called divisional charts. Okay, so let's look at his divisional charts. We're going to surgically open the 10th house. We're going to open it up and we're going to look inside what is happening. Now look at his D10 chart. He is a Taurus ascendant. And look where the ascendant lord is. Venus, the ascendant lord, is in the 5th house of creativity. Okay, and it's sitting with Ketu. Ketu represents electronics. It doesn't represent computer, but it represents electronics. Okay, and look where Rahu is. Rahu is in the 11th house looking over to Venus. Rahu represents computers. So creativity in computers, art history in computers. And if you know, Pixar is his company, which is about computer animation, about entertainment, creativity. Okay, now look at the 10th house here in the D10 chart, which is about career specifically. The 10th Lord Saturn, which is where you see that 11, that is Aquarius. That Lord is Saturn. Saturn is where? Look again. In the third house of communication. Okay. Third house of media. He was always in media and communication. And look, Saturn is again aspecting Venus in the fifth house. And remember, anytime Saturn aspects Venus, anytime Venus is sitting with Saturn, the person is very, very creative. It gives a very creative person. Okay. And also, if you remember in the birth chart, the main birth chart, Saturn being in the third house ruins the relationship with the siblings or siblings will be very distant. And remember, he met his sister after a long, 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 long time. Okay. Uh, because of the fact his Saturn uh, kept him separate from siblings for a long time. So guys, this is my horoscope of Mr. Steve Jobs. Now, if you're new to my channel, subscribe above because I'll be doing other famous people, other celebrities, and showing you how they made, how they made it, what really makes them in the birth chart that you can might, might relate to your own chart, okay? Now, if you want to know more about astrology, okay, check out the link below in the description section. Otherwise, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.